welcome to week 30! Yes, that is right. I am 30 weeks pregnant and we are just so excited to meet her. We have about 10 more weeks until she is due, but I don't think she's going to make it that long. <laughs> Especially with everything going on and everything so yeah I doubt she's gonna make it that long we are hoping for 35 weeks and we will be happy but you know what 37 weeks is what we're we're anticipating on so we shall see okay so I hope the light isn't too bad I did wait a little later in the day to do it so it's not that bright outside or anything it's actually almost nighttime but um, we've just had so much going on today and we've been trying to redo different things from our room to my son's room and getting the boys in their room together and everything. So it's been a crazy hectic day but we have gotten a lot done so that makes me very happy. Even some painting done. But um, yeah so I hope the light's okay and not, not horrible for you. But anyways okay so um baby the app says i'm going off the app is the size of a cabbage so i guess that sounds um pretty close what was it a coconut no not a coconut uh i can't remember what was the last week yeah pregnancy brain um but it says this week the baby is the size of a cabbage so that might be accurate i don't know uh, Okay, and then it says uh, the baby is supposed to weigh about three pounds or is going to almost weigh three pounds, which I totally think is wrong. Um, when my ultrasound, I told you last week, she was weighing the week before that at 2.4 and I did get an ultrasound this past week, but of course I did not ask the weight. I wish I did because uh, I got a different ultrasound tech and she wasn't as nice giving me all the information so um i could have asked but i just didn't think about it i had so many different things on my mind at the time but yeah so um baby's supposed to weigh three pounds just under three pounds but i'm thinking mine's a little bit more so we're gonna jump straight into symptoms okay so so far the hormones have been definitely coming back um yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> Hormones have definitely, they're real. They're so real. And I just, I, I am not going to fight it. Um, I'm, I don't even know what to say about explaining how difficult it is dealing with hormones. <laughs> it's like one second I'm perfectly happy. And then the next I just get in this like such depressed state. It's unbelievable. So it's definitely not easy. It's um, it's interesting. All in the hormones. I know it's the hormones. So um, at least that's keeping me together, <laughs> knowing what it is. <laughs> okay. So and also I've been feeling faint. Um, I know I told you all this before, but I've been I've just been feeling faint like all the time, and it seems to be getting worse. Um, Saturday all morning. I just couldn't do anything because I was feeling faint and my stomach was killing me. So it was, um, it's not fun. I'm sorry if you're dealing with feeling faint during pregnancy because it is not a fun issue to deal with. It, you feel so crappy and nothing seems to help. I drink water, I eat like they all tell me to and nothing helps. So um, it did end up going away when I had the really bad issue with it Saturday but still it's just not fun. But uh, back pain has come back. I know um, in the beginning I told y'all that um, back pain was really bad for me. And it's actually it was actually not doing so bad for a long time there. And now it's just like come back all of a sudden this week. I, my back starts killing me out of nowhere. So um, definitely back pain. Contractions have come back. Um, and I think that has to do with not being able to be on bed rest as well as I should. Um, and I think I'm going to get into that later, but, um, yeah, they've definitely come back and they're not as bad as they were cause I'm still, you know, on bed rest, but, um, they're coming back from the more activity that I'm doing with the children and uh, honestly getting stuff ready. Like, uh, I, I, I don't do too much for getting a stuff ready. Uh, my husband does a lot of it, but still it's like, it's more than I should be. So. 
um, I've been trying to find a, a balance on that. Okay, um, the biggest one for this past week was nosebleeds. Ugh. Okay, so like, I'm like, why does my nose feel like it's running? Sorry, TMI, but um, I'm like, my nose feels like it's running. I go and wipe it, and it's nothing but blood. So, uh, yeah, I've definitely been experiencing nosebleeds. I had it with my first, and yeah, it's been bad this week especially. Uh, I've had it before this week, but this week has been every day I've had a nosebleed. So it's it's pretty crazy just all of a sudden. I'm, I don't know if my blood increased or, or something like that, and it's making me have more nosebleeds, but something's going on there. Um... She is kicking all the time. I don't know if that would be under symptoms or not, but I put it under there. But yeah, she's very, very active and um, that's good because uh, I was kind of worried about that before. But yeah, she is just going crazy in there. I lay down at night and she's like hitting the side because she doesn't like the bed and stuff. It's so funny, but yeah, she's definitely being active. So I really like that. I'm really happy about that. Um, okay, the another big one is pressure down there. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one who goes through this because I was just talking to my friend about it. Um, yeah, but it was insane amount of pressure. Like, I was like holding my crotch together like <laughs> TMI again, but um, yeah, I was like holding my legs together and I looked at my husband and I said, it literally feels like she's fixing to fall out. Like, it was just pounding down there. Like, it was bad. It was it was really bad and I was like okay I need to get off my feet right now um, and I wasn't even on my feet that much um, that day because it happened specifically one night but it was horrible like it was bad it scared me I was like okay please do not come tonight <laughs> um, but yeah and I still get pressure all the time but this was like specific like like she was gonna fall out it was crazy um, okay, so doctor's appointment I just had, um, they checked my cervix, and my cervix is the same length. Yay! <laughs> but yes, I'm really happy about that because I was scared just because of, uh, my bed rest and everything, and I know I have my, my kids to run after, so I didn't know how that was going to go, but it did stay the same, so I'm really happy about that. Um... I have been a little bit more active since then just because I, I, I mean my my kids are out on the summer break and I just feel like I can't do anything with them and it's been really getting me down so um, I've been I've been trying to stick to one outing a week so that's my rule but um, but even in between things like um, I, I have to get the groceries and stuff and I don't go walking through um, the store. I actually have a pickup service, um, but and that helps so much. I do the pickup service, but still, it's like bringing the groceries back and forth to the car, putting them up. Like it's a, it, it's more than I'm supposed to be putting on myself. Let's put it that way. So um, yeah, I've definitely been doing more than I think I should be, and so I'm kind of scared and. All of a sudden, my contractions coming back this week, and uh, all the pressure I'm getting. Like I've had pressure down there, but it, it's gotten worse this week. And I'm like, oh gosh, I hope, I hope it's not something happening. But um, I've still been staying off my feet. It's just there's certain things that I just I can't I can't do. So I don't know. I can't just sit on the couch all the time. Why my kids just sit there. I'm not going to let them watch TV all day. I'm not that kind of mom. So it aggravates me. And I'm like trying to go back and forth. With trying to get them to read books and stuff. And it's just. It's really hard. Because they want to go out and do something. And have something fun to do. So anyways. Okay. Rambled on enough about that. <laughs> but okay. So cervix same length. Yay. Um, they did the ultrasound. And I'll show you the ultrasound pictures. Of course, they're going to do ultrasound every time, every time that they're checking my cervix, but this is the little picture I got. That one. And then this is a front view of her face. I don't know if you can tell on that one. That one's kind of hard to tell. But, uh, yeah, so I got a few more ultrasound pictures, which is always fun. 
Um, okay, so the next appointment, I have my next two appointments for my OB and my MFN, uh, which is uh, the high risk doctor, is uh, the 20th. So I will be seeing both of them that day. Um, I see my high risk doctor first in the morning and then later on I see my OB which is kind of cool because I'll get a read on my cervix again and if it stayed the same then we have nothing to worry about if it's gotten shorter then I'll be seeing my OB right after that we can talk strategy or you know figure out what's going on and she said as long as I get to 30 weeks which I am yay that she's not going to be as worried she said, you know, we want to definitely hold off till 32 weeks to have her. Even if you did go into labor, we'd want to stop it till at least 32, uh, you know, 32 weeks at least. But um, she's not going to be as worried for having so many issues in the NICU. So um, definitely they say once you hit 30 weeks, they don't have as many issues, Lord willing. So I'm really excited about that. That makes me so happy because, you know, that was our biggest worry at 28 weeks. We did not want that to happen because it's just scary, like, going through all that. We didn't want to have to face that. So praise the Lord. We're not so far, and hopefully we won't. So we will see. Um, okay, so... I already went into bed rest how hard it's been and um, my sister's not coming as of now so that's not fun and it's just I don't I don't know I think I told you all this last week but people just don't understand what bed rest is and like they just don't understand how hard it is um, like oh well you're staying off your feet right yeah I'm trying to I got three kids to take care of though do you want to watch them for an hour no, I know, I know. I'm not expecting anybody to do anything like that, but it's just they expect so much from you and you can only do so much with three kids. That's all I'll say. So I wanted to go ahead and just show you really quick the products I've been using for my stomach. Um, I, I have, as you can see, been using bio oil. I love bio oil. I used it with my daughter and my uh, last pregnancy. And it worked really well. I'm Like I told y'all before, I got stretch marks with my first because he was huge. And I gained excess weight than I more than I needed to at least. Um, and I, I, um, I know, I think it had to do with gaining more than I needed to for my body type. So I think that's why. But um, So I have them from that pregnancy. But for my daughter in my last um, pregnancy, my son... That's a year old now. I did not get any stretch marks with neither one of them. So I'm hoping and praying this one's going to stay the same. Um, I've been sticking to my bio oil. You know, I don't think oil is going to make or break it. I think it has to do with how much weight you gain and your body, like your skin. So, um, yeah. But, and then I've been trying recently, I just started this, um, is lavender um, essential oils and frankincense essential oils young living and i've been mixing these in with coconut oil organic coconut oil and i really like this uh, it's a strong smell so i'm like I, I it's not a bad smell it smells good but it's just strong for putting it right there but um i know i've heard great things about people using these for their face and stuff and I've I've never made a, a lotion myself but I've heard amazing things for skin so I'm definitely excited to see how if any this helps so um, those are the two things I'm using this is one um, remedy I guess you could say I'm using and then I'm, the bio oil is my other one and then I also use a product called um, cocoa butter yeah cocoa butter so, and this is from Australia, so I think it's Australia, yeah. Um, but I'm not going to keep using this. I got, I had um, ordered two things of this, but, and it's really nice. It smells amazing. It, you can tell it's really good. Um, the oils and everything, it's very, very good. Um, but I just, it's, it's $20 for a tiny little pack, and it takes forever to get here because it is from Australia so um, yeah I don't I won't be continuing this once I'm out I'm out 
Um, and maybe after the baby or something, I might do it whenever we don't have so many expenses going on and everything. But right now, I'm really loving the uh, Young Living oils. So that, so far, is my favorite. Bio oil, I haven't even been using as much because I started using that almost more. So, um, yeah, I just want to let y'all know what I am using for my skin. Okay, y'all have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everyone viewing my videos and um, taking time to watch them. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And we will see you next week. Bye. Love.